what got you into podcasting? Because you, you run 4 to 4, the volleyball related podcast. And yes, you yes. run that with uh, a few of your friends. Yeah, just tell me about what, what got you into that, why you started that in that particular niche, and yeah. what that's been like for you. Um, so for me, when it kind of started, I kind of had thoughts about it uh, before like COVID or anything like that hit. I had already had thoughts about it. Um, just because me and uh, Matt Calloway, which is one of the guys that I do it with, he was a middle of Penn State. He played pro over in Estonia and Romania. Really good player, really good guy, and a really good kind of mind to just talk to. And um, when Fortnite had its big wild kick up and everybody was playing it, um, I played with him a bunch. And we used to play like an obscene amount. And the whole time we were on, we would just talk about like anything and everything, like volleyball, like anything that was happening within the U.S., within other countries, like everything, literally everything we would speak about. And we would always joke that we should just like make a podcast out of it and just like shoot the shit. Um, but then when COVID hit and everybody got really removed from volleyball, we were like, dude, well, we always should have wanted to do one about volleyball because it's obviously what we know best. It's what we've committed everything to. Um, so I kind of ran the idea by him and he was like, yeah, I would a hundred percent be down. And I've had the same talks with Peter Russell because Peter, Peter grow, he grew up like 10 minutes from where I grew, grew up. Mm -hmm. So we, um, when we had finally crossed paths, we were like very close from the jump and we hang out all the time. So we used to talk about it too. So I was like, it got to a point where I was just like, I, let's just do it then. I was like, you know, if, if you're not going to like, I'm never going to know a ton about podcasting, seeming as I've never had done, done a podcast and I'm terrible with electronics. I was like, so our best bet is like, get what we need, record and just get going and we're going to figure it out as we go. So before I left for Denmark last year, I like ordered these microphone, this microphone, Peter got one too. And then we were like, all right. And then we just started going. So we had always had a really good conversation and been really, we were, the three of us were always really close. So we were like, dude, we're a fun, like laid back kind of group. Like we have some good questions. We know our shit, like might as well just fire one up. Mm -hmm. What do you think the benefits have been for you? Not only within the volleyball community, but also personally. Uh, personally, I mean, because it was during that time of COVID and especially take COVID out of it because the uh, different spots like you you know when you got to Denmark it was probably like like COVID didn't exist when I first got there like yeah. once I got off the plane I never wore a mask again but then December it was in lockdown and the U.S. was super open so it was super backwards but um, the benefit also of it that was really big for me since we I think we did our first episode in end of September last year I was still fresh over to Europe in my first season and um, but throughout the whole time, it's like I knew once a week I was going to be able to get on and talk to like two of my very best friends and a total other random person about volleyball in a very like and plus they're from uh, the U.S. So like that kind of culture, just be able to talk to them for two hours in like an American culture setting or like Canadian North American setting mm -hmm. was just super nice. So like mentally that helped a lot when I was over there to be able to have this where I knew once a week, I was going to be able to hop on with these two guys and we'd be able to like shoot the shit and kind of enjoy it. And then also bring in other minds of volleyball and discuss stuff. It was just, it was very cool and very beneficial in many ways. And like we talked about, you know, when you're somebody who's motivated and I think any athlete at the college level is pretty much very motivated. Like I was, I was getting kind of bored, you know, I needed something else to do. So I was like, dude, a podcast would be a crazy challenge. Um, so a lot of benefits socially from that. And also like the people you get to connect with, like there's so many people that as a human, you naturally like prejudge people. And I think it's inevitable. Anybody who says they don't, they're like, I never judge a book by its cover. It's like, no, that, that's bullshit. Like if you walk by and you see a guy like throw a drink at a wall, you think he's an asshole. That's just like the way your head works. That's the way like it operates. Um, so like getting to see some of these people who I've never known personally, and then I get to sit down and have a conversation with them. It's like the coolest thing ever because it completely changes the morph. Not always. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people that were exactly, exactly how I expected them. And it was awesome that they were that way. And then there's others that I was like, you know, I really don't know how to get a read on this person or like what this is going to be like. And then they like blow my mind and they're awesome and incredible. Like the way that they develop and like think about things would just like shock the shit out of me.